Excel's transpose feature allows you to take a range of data and flip it. For example, if I have rows, I can go ahead and transpose those or flip them into columns. So instead of the row labels being over here at the head of the rows, they'll now be at the top of each column down below, and vice versa. If I have two columns or three columns and I select the range there, I can go ahead and copy it and do a special paste that will transpose the data into rows. For example, let me go ahead and select my first range that I want to flip or transpose. Come up here on the Home tab to the Clipboard group and click on the Copy button, or you can just do the shortcut key, Control c and then go ahead and find an area that you can go ahead and flip it into. Now, since it's going to be transposing from rows into columns, I want to make sure I have some space, whatever cell I've selected, below. And then just come up here in the Clipboard group, click on the Paste drop-down arrow. We're going to do a special paste here. It's under the Paste category or group here, and it's right there. You see that little icon there? It's like a bar laying down. Those are your rows. And this bar laying up, well, it's your columns, and you've got arrows that are pointing in each direction. So you can take this, flip it to the row, or take that and flip it to the column. In any case, click on it, and let me hit the Escape key to get rid of the marching ants and click off in a blank area, and it transposed. But we've got some problems here. I mean, the numbers aren't matching. Why? Because when you transpose your data, if it includes formulas, well, watch what happens. Let me double-click on this cell and it opens up and it shows me that this formula is including these cells up above, okay? Let me go ahead and hit the escape key. Now it copied the formula and it transposed it over here, so if I double click here, instead of going above, well, I wish it would have stayed in this range here, it actually shifted and transposed it to go from left to right and adding up in rows. I mean, far away from where we originally had it. In fact, let me hit the escape key and you can see that as I double click in each one of these uh, formulas here, it's going to be row by row how it transposed the formula and where it's looking to add up that range of cells. Double click here, there's the next row, double click there, and so on. So what you need to do if you want to transpose a range of data that has formulas, well, know that you'll, let me double click, have to update it. Go ahead and click on those cells and drag them up where they should be. Should be adding up the month of January for all the employees and when we're done hit enter and 741.49 matches and then we have to update all the rest and this works vice versa if you have columns here two three or four you can go ahead and select those and transpose those into rows in fact let's do one that doesn't have formulas in it these have formulas I'm just going to go ahead and let's select this range here and flip it into rows so let me go ahead and control C on the keyboard to copy and then let's come down here and click in this cell and then keep in mind of course it's going to transpose into rows so we're going to go from left to right make sure you have enough space over here for all the data that you're going to be transposing and then come back up here in the clipboard group click on the paste drop down arrow and transpose I click off and hit the escape key now we have the headers in rows instead of in columns and of course all the data that comes over and the data here when you look up in the formula bar when I double click it's not a formula. It's not referring to other cells. It's just raw data. Let me hit the escape key. Now transposing your data only works when you're copying. It doesn't work when you're cutting. For example, if I go ahead and select this range again, come back up here, click on the pair of scissors, and then click on the paste drop down arrow, uh-uh, you only get simple paste. You don't get to transpose your data. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.